Welcome to another randomly funny. <laughs> wow, that was loud. <laughs> We're going to be going over awkward things that happen at weddings. Like when I said I do to Dallas. That was awkward. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to each take turns reading, and then we're going to talk about it. Insert our own weird commentary. So without further ado, let's go. You want to read the first one? Sure. I saw a friend at my wedding crying. I found out later he told my wife, this could have been us. Ah, uh, he was friend-zoned. Sore loser. The DJ invited all the single women to come up for the banquet. The bouquet. <laughs> to come up for the bouquet toss. He went on to make the comment, Widows, you count as single too. Get out here. Some of them burst out crying. The groom was actually the only survivor of a Marine's unit in Afghanistan and invited all the wives and girlfriends of his fallen comrades. The DJ was obviously not informed of this. If he was, he was an idiot. Or asshole. We're both. We're both. I went to a wedding of a distant relative of my girlfriend with her and her family. At the rehearsal dinner, I said congratulations to the one I thought was the bride and went as far as giving her a kiss on the cheek. It was quickly made clear that this was the event organizer instead of the bride. The entire family laughed at me. That yes, would be awesome. They should. I think weird things like that happen at a lot of weddings. Well, yeah. We had a few occasions. Did we not? I don't remember. You remember when I was trying to read you something in Spanish? Yeah. And you were like, I don't know what that said, but... Yeah, that was funny. It wasn't weird. Yeah, I know. My grandmother your hated grandmother, it. Your grandmother, oh my goodness, your grandmother wanted, gave you look to kill. No, she told me she wanted to spank me when she said, that's awkward. Um... <laughs> Anyway, she was displeased. We'll just put it that way. Okay, is it my turn? Yes, it is. I was once at a medieval... Blah, 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 blah. I was once at a medieval... That word is medieval. Medieval. I was once at a medieval-themed wedding. One of the guests came dressed in full Scottish attire, kilt and all. At one point, the DJ started playing gun 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 gum gun gum gun game gum game. Gangam, Gangam style? Gangam? What is it? Gangam? I think so. Gangam style. He started dancing, and we eventually got to see what a real Scotsman wore under his kilt. Actually, that would be pretty dang funny. Because they wear nothing. Yeah, that's true. I've got kilts. Yep. But if I go out and about, I'm going to wear something under it. They're frightfully comfortable. Oh, they are. You remember how um, the reason why I started wearing kilts? Because I bought you one? No, not just that. <laughs> Remember I had like gallbladder problems? Oh, yeah. And I had to wear the broom skirt. And yeah, I was you like, wore... Wow, that was comfortable. You wore my broomstick skirt. So I was like, um, I'm not going back. <laughs> so, Kilts are, or skirts are frightfully comfortable. They are. They're very comfortable. Especially if you have stomach issues or uterus issues or... Yeah. Thing like that. So now I've got like, what, three kilts? Yep. Now may I read this one? Yes, okay. go ahead. I was once at a wedding where the bride was six months pregnant. What was awkward was that I was one of the few that knew the baby wasn't the groom's. Awkward. I hope they just met and it wasn't during their dating because some people, they get married like after, what, three months of knowing someone or less? Yeah. But, Teach their own. But you got to plan the wedding, though. Doesn't that take a long time? It should, but um, some people kind of, you know, rush into things. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I think Mel's wedding was planned in, like, you know, two minutes. Yeah. But we don't talk about her because she's... No. The groom loves singing, and he was absolutely terrible at it. Can't carry a tune at all. At one point, he was asked twice to sing. He did, and what made it worse is that there was no backup music. We sat there awkwardly wondering if it was a joke. I think having karaoke at a wedding is a questionable decision anyway. Yeah. Um, I mean, some people do it, and sometimes it works great, but uh, I just, that's one of those things. It's like, eh, you know, 
And if you're going to have karaoke, at least have some music. Yeah. I love that video of that guy at, at a church. You remember that one? Oh, yeah. That couldn't sing, but... Oh, he was giving it all he got. All oh, he yeah. Had. He was, like, singing like he was the best thing ever. It was hilarious. It got tons of view on YouTube. Moving on. The brother of the groom proposed to his girlfriend during the reception. Needless to say, the bride wasn't impressed. Yeah, don't upstage the bride on her special day with that kind of garbage. No. I mean, you can... Okay, you're there, you're both dressed, you're nice, it's romantic. You know, do it privately. Not, yeah. you know... That's not classy at all. At my cousin's wedding, as soon as they said, I do, her five-year-old stood up in his chair and yelled, Kill the beast! <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder what the story is behind that. I that's don't know, that's funny. awesome. I would pay a five-year-old to do that at somebody's wedding. <laughs> Not my own. Someone else's. <laughs> well, if something happens to you, maybe I'll pay a five-year-old to do it at mine. <laughs> okay. Is it my turn? It's your turn. Yeah, I read that one. Okay. On my wedding day, I left a list of instructions for my family to get done before the event while I got my nails and hair did done. God, I'm so <laughs> Got my hair done, that dude. Was, that was so southern. I ordered five corsages, one large one and four smaller ones. They assumed the large one went to the mother of the bride and the others went to the mother-in-law, two grandmothers, and the great-grandmother. I did not order one for the great-grandmother. The large one was meant as the cake topper. My mother walked down the aisle with a cake topper pinned to her dress. <laughs> I would have loved to see that. Must have been huge. <laughs> yeah. Before the wedding ceremony, my father's then girlfriend came up to me and my brother and loudly said in a commanding voice, You are my sons. You are my family now. You are my sons. It was very strange for someone to demand that you are their son. I've learned not to question my dad's life choices because there's yeah. no making sense in it. That's just weird. That is weird. My dad's phone had the psycho theme song for his ringtone. You know, the stabby one. During the vows, it went off. I used to have that as my ringtone. It was just for me. Yeah, it was just for you. Funny, not a wedding story, but um, when I was in labor with my son, my mother had a ringtone that sounded like a cat meowing. And it was a realistically sounding cat meow. And one of the nurses legitimately thought that she had brought a cat into the delivery room. <laughs> I guess they thought I was weird anyway, since I was going the whole, you know, natural childbirth route. And I wasn't having any pain medicine and really wasn't in all that much pain during labor or delivery. Yeah, you're going to um, get some hate for that. Which is fine. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So they already thought I was weird, and then, so I guess they were like, Okay, so her mom brought a cat. That's important for having a baby. <laughs> I'm sure that things like that has happened. It would not surprise me. People do weird things. I was catering a reception where the father of the bride was in a wheelchair. They invited all of the parents of the couple to dance. What made it worse is that he had to sit there watching them as they danced, while playing the song, I'm never going to dance again. Yeah, your father's in a wheelchair. Yes, he is. He didn't get to dance you. That sucked. Yeah. But when, you know, we have an anniversary party, I'll dance with him. Yeah. Because I love my dad. Yeah. He's a pretty good guy. And I know what song, To Serve With Love, from the to movie, serve To love. Serve With Love. Oh. Which is great. 1960s movie. I went to a wedding where everyone on the groom's side hated the bride. They all knew that she was in it for the money. They couldn't talk him out of it. After the wedding, they started playing Gold Digger by Kanye West. After the pause, after the lyrics, we want a prenup, someone yelled, Too late! <laughs> I wonder who's probably stubborn and stuff. Or manipulated. Yeah. She's probably a narcissist. At one wedding, the bride got punched by a homeless woman. I would be interested to find the story behind that one. I know, right? They didn't really have much detail about that. No. My aunt loves to dance. She would dance anywhere. She thought it was the most appropriate time to start dancing while the bride was walking down the aisle. It sounds like your mom's family. Well, oh. if, the, if she was walking down the aisle to the Beatles' twist and shout, then it's fair game. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. You know what? If it was your mom's family, they'd probably all be dancing as the bride is dancing down the aisle. I could totally see that happening. Yeah. 
and probably they had all started drinking. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I was going to say. They Hours started before drinking. Good Irish family. <laughs> I'm assuming no one else in their family did stuff like that. No. So. Just... When the groom's father was giving a speech, it included the phrase, You screwed up, and now you have to be a man and accept responsibility. Good luck to you two. So I'm guessing... Oh, there's any number of reasons. Oh, but yeah. probably there's a bun in the oven. Yeah, more than likely. The father of the bride called her the wrong name during the father of the bride speech. I could see my dad doing that. Because <laughs> he often will start calling me Mel and then ease back and go T. So... <laughs> yeah. Awkward. At Plus, least it's, you know, a female child. If there's more than one kid involved, that's going to happen. I've called Jonas by Hopefully. the cat's name before. <laughs> That's true. I've called him Toby before because that was our dog. We was going to call him Indiana Jonas, but um, that's a dog's name. Yep. But our parents kind of objected to that. Like, no, you can't name him that. And even Jonas is like, I wish you would have called me that. That's cool. <laughs> he is still named after a sci-fi movie. Yep. Yeah, his middle name is Corbin Dallas. One of the most awkward moments I experienced is when my cousin was getting married and his father, my uncle, stood up to make a toast while they were still at the altar and announced that he was dying of cancer and he would die soon and he was happy to be there. Then he congratulated his son and the bride and told them to enjoy their time together. That was in 2008 and he's still alive. That makes me think of the boss from uh, The Office, because he always had to be the center of attention. So I want to give him the Office Award. An ex-girlfriend of the groom that he hadn't seen in eight years burst in uninvited and drunk. She was loud and saying things that she wanted to do to the groom, thinking either violent or kinky. The bride walks up and punches her out cold. She is known for being a very peaceful and calm person. Some of us picked up the ex and took her back to her apartment that was 20 minutes away. Later, after being asked, the bride said she wasn't going to let anything ruin her wedding day. That would have been awesome to see. <laughs> that will definitely be something to remember. Hopefully the videographer got that on tape. I know, Film, right? But it's me it on tape. I think it'd be awesome if they took a picture of her punching them. <laughs> right before the ceremony, the best man stepped back to let the priest by. The problem with that was he was too close to the candles and his jacket caught on fire. They got it out quickly and he wasn't hurt, but he lost his deposit and he looked like he was hit by a mortar in the back during the rest of the reception. See, this is why it's very important to have a rehearsal dinner. Yeah. And rehearse like where everybody's going to stand and be aware of that stuff that's why it's important to have a wedding planner um because then stuff like that doesn't happen <laughs> we went to one wedding they had no clue what they were going to do it was like oh we're just getting married all right and they didn't know anything about how to set anything up and you actually helped them set yeah, it up. yeah bless their hearts they were um they were yeah didn't have a plan they were still decorating and we were supposed to take pictures at the rehearsal dinner and they didn't know anything so i was just like all right i'm your wedding planner let's get this going and it went beautifully the wedding oh yeah and they both the bride and groom thanked us profusely and Tell you what, that was one of the weirdest weddings I've it was ever been beautiful. to. beautiful. It was. I thought it was awesome. It was a gorgeous goth wedding. <laughs> yeah. She had like a, what, she had like a little bone sticking out of her ears. Yeah, her wedding dress was black. She had a black veil. Her dad wore a plague doctor mask. It was... It was cool. It was all beautiful. Yeah, it was gorgeous. They should have involved their rats in some way. Though. I know, right? They are adorable. I have to say that much. It's my turn. No, it's my turn, because okay. you misread the one about the mortar shell. The wedding went well, and the reception for the most part. It was a non-traditional wedding, so the bridesmaid was a man. The maid of honor was a man of honor. It got awkward when he got up to give his speech and announced that he was in love with the bride and that he could treat her better than the groom. That is ultimate friend zone right there. Kind of dickish. Yeah, don't agree to be in the bridal party if... If that you don't agree with the them. kind of crap you're going to pull. Tell you what, if, if you can't just be friends, don't be friends. But don't just stick in there because you love them. And then pull watch. that kind of crap. Yeah, that's terrible. 
If I was a bride or the groom, well, I wouldn't be a bride. Aw, don't give up hope. You might be a bride someday. <laughs> I wouldn't look good in a dress. I don't know. You might. You can always try. Get a push-up bra. On that awkward note, read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> During my brother-in-law's wedding, his dad went up to give a speech and droned on and on. Then he started mentioning how much he was sexually attracted to his son's bride. You could hear a pin drop. We all wanted to punch him. And they probably should have. They probably should have. I would have kicked his butt out of there. Do not hug my dad. You'll feel something poking. God, seriously? <laughs> I had to go there? Oops. Oops. <sighs> <laughs> my cousin was getting married in my uncle's backyard. It was gorgeous. The part that stands out to me is that the priest came to the point where they say, to death do you part, but he included, or divorce. That was my cousin. Oh, was it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was a gorgeous wedding, though. I've never heard anyone say that. Yeah, that's not standard in the vows. Yeah, that's bizarre. Is it my turn? Yeah. I went to a wedding that was three hours long. I couldn't help but fall asleep. Why was the wedding so long, you might ask? The parents of the bride gave a PowerPoint presentation on Bible verses that had nothing to do with the wedding. Yeah, weddings should be short, sweet, and to the point, and then you move on. It, yeah, do it at the reception, not, yeah. not while people are sitting there going, Get on with it! Okay. <clears throat> I went to an outdoor wedding that was fine until the Fire Nation attacked. I mean, ants. Fire ants. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a problem with outdoor weddings. Yeah. You gotta watch bugs, wasps, yellow jackets, ants, rain. <laughs> They're not to Avatar. Yep. <laughs> Our son has rewatched all of those recently. How many times have we watched it? A buttload jillion. I can't, I can't remember. I think it's at least three times. More than that, probably. I went to a wedding where two guys wanted to pay for the catering bill, which was over $15,000. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> it escalated to the point where they went into a brawl. I just sat there drinking my drink with my pinky up saying, that's none of my business. Whew. I can see that going on in a movie. That's pretty yeah. funny. Let them both Let them pay. fight. They can pay if they and want. And then you just refund it. Yeah. You know, go, oh, once they're sober. My wife and I went to a wedding where we were the only ones there. 48 hours earlier, they had called off the wedding, and we were the ones that they didn't call and tell. So we just took their wedding gift and had a very nice dinner since we were already dressed up. I married a good friend of my sister's. No, you married the sister of a good friend. Oh, I married a good friend of... Mine's sister. Would you like me to read that one? Yeah, go ahead. I married a good friend of mine's sister. He would constantly tease me about not being able to perform on the wedding night, constantly downgrading me the whole time that we were dating. During the reception, I decided to get my vengeance. I came up to him and gave him a hug right before we left for our honeymoon and whispered in his ear, I'm gonna go screw your sister. He went ballistic, but I couldn't stop smiling. The best part was that the photographer took a picture of me hugging him with a wicked grin on my face right before his reaction. That happened to us. That was me. Her brother, man, he was a pain in the butt. And we do have a beautiful picture of it. It's oh, one yes. of our favorites from it the is. entire day. I like to get it blown up and put in here as a poster. We could do that. It'd be cool. <laughs> I think you should put it in the video. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. If we find it, here's the picture. Ta-da! You know what? I wrote that myself. Yes, I and know. I could and you were, not and say you it. couldn't read it. <laughs> During the ceremony, at the point where you say, I do, the groom was too distracted on his future wife's figure, or at her boobs, more than likely. More than likely. It took several seconds of people yelling his name for him to snap out of it, and it was all caught on film. You know what? At least they know he's attracted to her. That's true. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and tell my was awkward for, well, not awkward, but interesting at our wedding from my perspective. Okay. Like two days before the wedding, I completely lost my voice. Like, not, oh, I sound, you know, scratchy, but there was nothing there. <laughs> and we'd probably stress uh, trying to get everything done over exertion. So uh, you can't hear my vows um, <laughs> at, like, at all. It's just like, 
and nothing on the video. But I got to drink a lot of moonshine that weekend because my grandfather was like, hey, this will help your throat. Um, <laughs> that was also for all of the out-of-town guests, family that came down to Kentucky for the wedding. They all got bottles of moonshine as wedding favors. Some of them didn't like it. Yeah, those people are wrong. I and know. During a wedding, a phone started ringing, and the priest was very annoyed. He started to strongly lecture the guest about turning the ringer off on their phones during the procession. That was until he realized it was his own phone that was ringing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Never hire a DJ that had a terrible love life. This one wedding, the DJ would only play breakup songs. The best... That's great. The best part did happen when the bride sent her off and started to DJ herself. She was great at it. The headphones even looked awesome with her wedding dress. I like that. That is cute. A bridesmaid was walking down the aisle, but the shoes they got were too big. She was tripping and almost fell several times. So she decided to discreetly kick them off and slide them under the guest seats. The first one was successful, but the second one rocketed up and almost hit several guests in the head. Thankfully, they all just laughed it off and continued. Here's the thing about weddings. Something will always go wrong and you should just oh, yeah. expect it and be ready to just laugh it off because that's what you do. Yeah, you can't be like Bridezilla and expect everything to be perfect. Because it won't. Nope. Something always goes wrong. We was going to get married outside. And it rained. Yeah, and it rained. But it still was beautiful. Still very beautiful. One person got drunk, complained about the food, felt up the bride, and got stuck in, the woman, in a woman's bathroom stall. This person was the father of the groom. <laughs> During my cousin's outdoor wedding, he was having trouble repeating his vows. Then a mosquito landed on his face and the bride smacked it off. But no one saw the mosquito. <laughs> they all went dead silent. <laughs> That's beautiful. That is. Start the wedding off right. Yeah. One wedding was being held on a beach. During the ceremony, there was a large gust of wind. It blew off the toupee of the minister that proceeded to fly off toward the sea and was promptly eaten by a seagull. <laughs> <laughs> During a wedding ceremony, I was repeating the vows when I said, I, Megan Catherine, which was the bride's name. I'm hoping that was a dude. That would have been hilarious. Either way, it would have been funny. Yeah. What else happened at our wedding that was amusing? Your family and your mom's family, they all danced till like midnight or something. Yes, we were told it was the best wedding reception ever. We left fairly early. <laughs> yes, we left early. Um, but yeah, my best friend and, and the rest of the family was like, it was awesome! Um, <laughs> so I'll just have to take their words for it. That was 18 years ago. Oh God. Yeah, we're old. Well, thank you all for joining us. This has been the Awkward Wedding Edition of Randomly Funny. I want to give a special thanks to my wife, Red. Yay! I had to sit here and read stuff. <laughs> I was promised bourbon when this was done. You got your bourbon. You got your bourbon. If I don't get bourbon, somebody's going to get smacked with a cast iron skillet. <laughs> I get skillet points. I do like southern tea. And I do not. I, I don't like sweet tea. It's basically tea-flavored sugar. Syrup? Yeah. <laughs> that and putting sugar in cornbread. God, there is the first ingredient in the cornbread you make me buy is sugar. Well, you can't have any gluten, so... <laughs> kind of have to have that. Well, I could make it from scratch. You guys uh. would probably be like, it's not weird enough. <laughs> you don't like it. I bet you put sugar in your grits, too. Ugh. I don't like grits. See, I don't. Uh, how are you from the South? Well, thank you for joining me. Until next. <laughs> oh. Until thank next. Thank you for joining us. <sighs> God. Let me finish. Oh my God. <laughs> Until next time, this is Dallas. And Red. Signing off.